Hi, in this video I'm going to go through some of the new features in Yumi 1.1.2. A lot of these have come from the community, a uh, few fix a few bugs, and there's also a few that are quite a different implementation of existing features to make them work properly. Um, going through the list of stuff that's new or fixed, um, first of all is tile selection. Before when you were on the uh, pointer and you were selecting tiles, um, I would try and update the gizmo to show which tiles were Yumi tiles and which were Unity objects. I decided to remove that. I think that was causing memory issues and uh, causing crashes. So that has now gone, but this tool works exactly the same. So if I want to copy this set of tiles, I can do that. Um, I can hit return to go back to my single tile. There's also, you can still select using um, Yumi's select tools, which will give you the green outline to show that that's a Yumi tile. Um, it was a little bit confusing um, how to unselect those. Um, so control and left click unselects, or you can hit return now, and that will clear any selection like that. So that's the selection tools updated. Um, hopefully that will mean less crashes. Uh, so next thing on the list was the picking tool, didn't always pick the right rotation. So if I pick that, that tile, um, now whenever you pick it, it will pick the right rotation. This was getting a bit confused, um, particularly when tiles were flipped um, and rotated. Now, as from all the testing I've done, this will pick an absolute copy of any of the transforms on those tiles. Um, another request was being able to erase um, using a larger brush size. This was a bug, so let's increase the brush size. There's two ways you can do this, using the square brackets, or you can do individual axes using the uh, cursor keys. So if I just drop a load of these tiles, if I want to then delete them, I can either use the delete icon here just to delete them, or you can always be in draw mode and then hold down shift and delete. So that will hopefully save people a bit of time. You can reset the brush by hitting enter. Uh, brush size resetting, right. So this was for people who are maybe um, using tiles that they want always drawing at this size. And then they want to select a new tile by scrolling through the mouse. It was resetting the brush down to uh, the single tile again, that no longer happens. So if you want to drop multiple copies of uh, things at a certain brush size, um, it won't reset. If you want to reset, hit enter or just rescale the brush down. Um, what else? Um, isolate grids uh, was not working in 2.5D mode. Let me try and set something up for that. So. In 2.5D mode, the grid is um, the grid is in the Z plane instead of the Y plane, and uh, one of the things you can do with grids is um, isolate them with this eyeball here, so you can be working on just that layer. This was not working in um, in the previous version, so that's been fixed. Uh, let's go back to flat grid. Uh, Okay, so this is a, a biggie. I've changed how um, custom brushes work. Before, it was trying to create a copy of the object using, well, kind of trying to retain the prefabs. Um, now, obviously, <laughs> anyone who's been using Unity for a long time knows that Unity does not have nested prefabs. And I think because this code had not really been touched since early version ones, um, it it had probably suffered from some code rot. So what I've done is I've rewritten how that works. And now it's effectively like a mini freeze of uh, your tiles. So if I select these guys and hit this icon for custom brush, I'll get asked a name. So we'll call it custom01, save brush. Now when we go to custom brushes, you see we've got this tile and things work a lot better using this system. So if we look at what that's actually created, let me find the folder and custom brushes. We'll see that 
Um, we've got a, a Yumi tile prefab um, with a mesh underneath it, and that mesh is also saved out. So it's effectively frozen down those tiles into um, something that um, effectively recreates it as a Yumi tile. This should be a lot more robust for people using this system. So um, please test it. Let me know if there's any problems, but I, I, it's, I've tested it as best I can. It seems pretty robust. Um, and what else have we got? Oh yes, another request. Um, so the settings for Yumi were being stored with kind of the editor settings as well. So it was all one scriptable object. I've now split that into two. So if you had different colors here, or if you were always using a grid size of two and a different offset and different names down here, every time you updated Yumi, all of this stuff would get reset. Um, the plan is going forward after this version. You should never have to do that again. So for this one version only, because the way the preferences have now been split up, you will have to do that for this 1.1.2, uh, but going forward, as long as I re remember to not include the preference file, um, you should be able to keep all your preferences. One of the things you could always do is in this preferences folder here, you can always create a copy of your Yumi editor preference data. Um, so if for some reason it does get overwritten, you can always um, ch put those settings back and it should work just fine. Um, I think that's about it. Let me just check my Trello. Um, yeah, that looks like about it. And some of these features like the new custom brush, they're, they're pretty big refactors. If you've been using custom brushes in the past, um, I'm trying to support the old custom brushes if they're working for you, but I would highly recommend um, rebuilding them using this system, it's a lot more robust. Um, everything else is just little tweaks to the tool for quality of life, really. And uh, I hope you enjoy this new update. Thanks a lot, guys.